मत्स्यकुर्म रघुनाथ नृसिंह वामन बराह आदि लिखा जा ना जाएगा ना लॉर्ड लॉर्ड चैतन आई डिस्क्राइबिंग अबाउट लीला अवतार तो दे आर सम ऑफ द नेम्स ऑफ द लीला अवतार देर आर इन्यूमरेबल लीला अवतार बट दी आर सम ऑफ द नेम्स मत्स्य कूर्म रघुनाथ नृसिंह भावन बराह आदि इन श्रीमद भागवतम दर्स इन वेच सम ऑफ द नेम्स ऑफ द लीला अवतार इज मैं मत्साशकप नृसिंह बराह आस राजन विप्र विदेश कृतावतार तंग पाशन से भुवन चथानुदेश भारंग भुवो हर यदुत्तम बंदन ते सो ऑल दिस इनकार्नेशन स्पेशली दिस लीला अवतार लीला इनकार्नेशन दे कम दे डिसेंड ऑन दिस मेटीरियल वर्ड टू सेटल अप सम डिस्टर्बेंसेस बाय द डिमांड्स देर आर टू क्लासेस ऑफ मैन इन दिस वर्ल्ड द देवा and the asura deva means those who are devotees those who are conscious krishna conscious they are called deva gods demi gods and demi god does not mean that uh, uh, something extraordinary they are also living entities like us but they are completely krishna conscious and therefore they have got unlimited power and they are entrusted with some of the management of this material world they are called deva and the asuras demons atheists uh, they are not entrusted they are simply meant for creating disturbances so the on the atheist class uh, the number of atheist class increases at that time it becomes intolerable for the devas and the gods to remain here uh, because the osuras can create much disturbance that that time indrari vyakulam lokam mrayanti jivi indrari indra means the demi gods head of the demi gods when his enemies are increased and create disturbance uh, the lila avatar they come Uh, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Puritrana Shadunam Bina Shayat Duskita, uh, just to deliver the faithful and to annihilate the unfaithful, Juge Juge Samavami, I come in every uh, millennium. Lila Avatare Koyilu Dig Darshan Guna Avatare Vishuno Vibhar. Now Lord Caitanya says, I have mentioned some of the a uh, lila avatar now sanatan uh, you just hear from me about uh, guna avatar guna avatar means the incarnation of the material qualities there are three qualities in the material world goodness passion and ignorance uh, so, so each quality is controlled by the supreme lord himself by his expansion of different incarnations <coughs> brahma vishnu shiv teen guna avatar now how uh, on these three qualities material modes of nature the heads are brahma uh, brahma the first living creature brahma and vishnu vishnu god himself and shiva lord shiva shiva shiva's position is between brahma and vishnu Vishnu is God, and Brahma is living entity. Uh, <coughs> gradation, uh, uh, living entity. They are also part and parcel of God. Shiva is also part and parcel of God. Vishnu is also part and parcel of God. But there are degrees of power that we have already discussed. Uh, Krishna is ten percent, Vishnu is ninety-four percent. Shiva is eighty-four percent, and we living entities, we are seventy-eight <coughs> percent. So, 
ত্রিগুণ অঙ্গীকার করে সৃষ্টাদি ব্যবহার দে হ্যাভ নথিং টু ডু উইথ দিস মেটিরিয়াল মোডস অফ নেচার জাস্ট লাইক এ পার্সন ইন চার্জ অফ দি ক্রিমিনাল ডিপার্টমেন্ট আর জেল ডিপার্টমেন্ট বাট উই শুড নট থিঙ্ক দ্যাট হি ইজ অলসো ওয়ান অফ দি ক্রিজনেস বিকজ ইজ ইন চার্জ অফ দি জেল ডিপার্টমেন্ট নো সিমিলারলি শিবা লর্ড শিবা হি ইজ ইন চার্জ অফ দি মোডস অফ ইগনোরেন্স বাট হি ইজ নট ইগনোরেন্ট হি ইজ এ মোস্ট এন লাইটন রিভোট ইয়ার লর্ড Uh, he has got a, a, a parampara disciple succession which is called uh, Vishnu Shami Sampradaya. Vishnu Shami Sampradaya. There are four sampradayas uh, of great devotees of Lord. One from Brahma, one from Siva, and one from Lakshmi, and, and uh, one from the uh, Kumaras. So Lord Shiva, although he is in charge of the uh, department of, of the modes of ignorance, but he is not ignorant. We should not mistake that. Similarly, Brahma is also in charge of the passionate department, creative, initiate, initiation. This whatever we are creating, uh, the creative incentive that is from Brahma, passion and ignorance, they neither create, they simply destroy. And Vishnu, he has taken the charge of maintenance. Because without God, nobody can maintain us. Eka bhunam vidhati kama. There are one personality, one eternal personality. He maintains all other plural eternities. We are also eternities, but we are maintained by Vishnu. Uh, even Brahma is also maintained by Vishnu and Shiva is also maintained by Vishnu. So these are three qualitative incarnations, Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Bhakti Mishra Kritapunne Kono Jivattam Rajagune Vivahita Kalita Arma. Now, what, what is the constitution of Brahma? Brahma, uh, just there are so many Uh, innumerable living entities, if some of them, they are devotees, but they want to enjoy this material world. Uh, they want to enjoy it. They are devotees uh, for taking some favor from God and want to enjoy this material He is called Brahma. Brahma's constitution position is that. ভক্তি মিশ্র কৃতপুণ্যে কোন জীবত্তম রজগুণে বিবাহিত করি তার মন গর্ভধক সাহিত্য দ্বারা আসক্তি সঞ্চারী ব্যষ্টি সৃষ্টি করে কৃষ্ণ ব্রহ্মা রূপ ধরি সামটাইমস সচ আই পায়াস লিভিং এনসিটিস আর নট অ্যাবল সামটাইমস কৃষ্ণ হিমসেলফ বিকমস ব্রহ্ম অ্যান্ড ফর মেনশিনস ফর ক্রিস্ট ভাষ্যান যথাস্ম সকলেশু নিজেষু তেজ সিয়ংক্যপ্রকটয়তপিতবদত্র ব্রহ্মাজয়ী স জগদণ্ডবিধানকর্তা গোবিন্দমাদি পুরুষম তমহং ভজামি ব্রহ্মা ডেসক্রিপশন ইজ গিভিং ইয়ার দ্যাট ভাষ্যান যথাস্ম সকলেশু নিজেষু তেজ জাস্ট লাইক ভ্যালুবল স্টোর The example is very nice. Valuable stone. It's like diamond. Uh, diamond has got power to illuminate. And what is this diamond? The diamond is made uh, by the interaction of sunshine. All these valuable stones, they are products of sunshine. So, uh, as the diamond has got power of shining power, It is derived from the sun, or diamond, the moon also, it derives power from the sun. Similarly, Brahma, although he is very powerful, he is known as creator of this universe, but he is just like diamond. He inherits power from the Supreme Lord, so he becomes powerful. 
Vashyan jathasu sakli su nidhi su teja. That is simple, a bit of power. Just like a diamond, diamond also illuminating. But uh, it is not original luminous. Original luminous is sun. Uh, and uh, the illumination uh, I mean expanded by diamond is not so ex- um, I mean, I mean valuable as the uh, sun sign. Similarly, Brahma, although we see him so powerful, he has little power derived from the Supreme Law. That is the example given here. Kono kalpe jadi jagga jiv nahi paay, apane ishar tabe aunse brahma hai. Kono kalpe. There are kalpa means the duration of one uh, creation. This material creation, bhutta bhutta praliya te, it is created at a certain interval and it stays for some time, again it is annihilated. So, again at the time of creation, if somebody is not available, uh, then uh, the Supreme Lord Krishna, he becomes Brahma himself. Jasang hipankajaraja filo kapola lokopalai maulottamai dhritamupa sitatirtha tirtham brahma bhavoham apijasya kala kalaya srishtad bahema chiramasya nipasanam kha. So, Nidamsa Kalai Krishna Tamaguna Angikare Sanghate Maya Sangha Ruddha Ruddha. Similarly, sometimes when uh, uh, Shiva is not uh, available, uh, uh, Shiva is available. Nidamsa Kalai Krishna Tamaguna Angikare. Uh, now, Krishna, uh, the Lord Himself, when He accepts the management of this modes of ignorance, he is called Shiva. Uh, Shiva, Shiva is God, but because he is in the department of ignorance, therefore his name is Shiva. Uh, uh, he makes Shiva, Shiva, another meaning of Shiva is auspicious. Uh, this inauspicious persons who are in ignorance, uh, for them uh, Shiva was Shiva. Uh, worship of Lord Shiva is recommended so that gradually they come uh, to the modes of passion and goodness and they, they are, then they are uh, liberated. So Nijangsa Kalai Krishna Tama Gunangikare Sangahara. But his business is destruction. When there is some destruction in this material world, you should know that is the action of Shiva. Uh, perhaps you have seen one. Uh, statue that is very popular, sold in antique shops, uh, Nataraj, uh, dancing, and fire. All all around there is fire. And Shiva begin, begins to dance. His dance is very serious. Uh, as you dance, Krishna Kirtan, similarly Shiva also dances for annihilation. There is fire. By his dancing there will be fire. Sangharte Maya Sangha Ruddha Rudhare. Maya Sangha, he has got connection with this material energy and uh, he is meant for uh, distraction. Uh, uh, material energy is under the, uh, I mean, the control uh, of the Shiva Rupa of Krishna. Uh, therefore, he is called father. He is called father and the material energy is called mother. Uh, father and mother, Durga. Mahasanga Bikari Rudra Bhinna Bhinna Rup Jeev Tattva Hai Nahe Krishna Saru. And because he has connection with this illusory energy, therefore he is not exactly God. God has nothing to do with this material energy, illusory energy. He is never illusion. But Shiva, Lord Shiva, he has connection with Durga, the material energy. Therefore uh, uh, his position is between the living entity and Krishna. Now, uh, in, in Lord Chaitanya is quoting one verse from Brahma Sangita uh, about the real position of Shiva. 
দুগ্ধ জানে অম্লযোগে দধি রূপ ধরে দুগ্ধান্তর বস্তু নয় দুগ্ধ হইতে নারে জাস্ট লাইক ইফ ইউ মিক্স আপ উইথ মিল্ক সামথিং সাওয়ার হ্যান ইট টার্নস ইন টু জুগার কার্ড সিমিলারলি the difference between Shiva and Lord Krishna is like that. He is Krishna, but because he is mixed up with this material energy, therefore he is something like that jugar. The jugar, the constitutional position of jugar is nothing but milk, but it cannot become milk. Again, once turned into jugar, there is, there is no possibility of turning into uh, milk. Neither you can derive uh, the benefit of milk from jugar. Jugar is used for some purpose, milk is used for some other purpose. Similarly, uh, those who are worshippers of Shiva, uh, they cannot derive the same benefit as the persons who are in Krishna consciousness. Just like you cannot derive the same benefit by drinking, uh, by taking jugar, if you require milk. Uh, if I supply you jugar, uh, it will be another, uh, I mean, say, disturbance. Hmm. Similarly, uh, the distinction is given here, and he is quoting from Brahma Sankhita, uh, the most authoritative literature in this connection. Sri uh, Ranga Jatha Dadi Vikara Vishesa Sang Yuga Sanjayati Natu Tata Pritagasti Hit. Shiva is not different from Krishna, but it is added with this uh, material energy. Uh, therefore, uh, Shiva has uh, turned into Juga. Just samutam api tatha samupaiti karjyad govindamadi purisam tamaham vajaya. But somebody is required for distraction. So that distraction part is taken by Shiva and uh, He is in charge of this tamaguna. Śrīva-māyā-śaktī-saṅgi tamaguna-vesh māyātita-gunātīt-viṣṇu-paramesh. Uh, so therefore, Vishnu and Śrīva, the difference is that Vishnu is never in touch of this illusory energy or material energy, but Śrīva is in intimate touch with the material energy. That is the difference between Śrīva and Vishnu. Siva Shakti Yukta Shashat Linga Gunasangrita Vaikari Kastai Jasasa Tamasthiti Ahang Tridha Hari Nidguna Shakshat Purusha Prakite Para. Now Hari Vishnu is beyond this material world. That is accepted by Sankarachans. Narayana Para Abhaktyat Narayana Hari. Although Sankaracharya is impersonalist, but he has accepted uh, Narayana Hari, the Supreme Lord, as uh, beyond this material uh, infection. Narayana Paraka Bhaktya, and he has also agreed to accept Krishna, Sabhagavan Sayam Krishna. Uh, that Supreme Personality of God is Krishna. Uh, he is accepted by Sankaracharya. <coughs> Those who are uh, reading the commentary by Sankaracharya and the Bhagavad Gita, he will find uh, the, the beginning of the Narayana Pada. So it is also confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam uh, that Parirhi Nirguna Sasa, Dhari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he, he is uh, beyond the touch of these material qualities. Uh, therefore his body is Satchidananda Vigra. His body is not made of this three gunas. Uh, our, this material body is made of these three gunas, satagon, rajagon, tamagon. Uh, those, who, those who have got this body from a more some uh, goodness, they are called brahmins or the most intelligent persons. And those who have got that body from the more some passion, they are called kshatriyas. Uh, they are they have got creative uh, initiation, and those who are mixed, they are called uh, Vaishyas, the mercantile community, 
And those who have got purely uh, body from um, modes of ignorance, they are called sudras. Mm-hmm. So, but Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality Godhead, is beyond this. He is transcendental. Hari hi nidguna shakshat purusa prakite para. Prakite para means prakite in this nature, this material nature. He is beyond this material nature. Prakite para. Sasarva guna upadrashtya tang bhajan nidguna vare. The advantage is that if you want to get released from the uh, infection of these three gunas, three qualities, then you have to uh, render devotional service to the Lord. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, so nirguna bhava. Nirgun, nirgun, when there is uh, a mention of nirgun, nirgun does not mean quality less. Nirgun means uh, without these contaminous three qualities of material nature. There are transcendental qualities. Those transcendental qualities, uh, you have got the least uh, twenty-six qualities of the devotee, they, those are transcendental qualities. Those transcendental qualities are in God as well as in the uh, living entity, but when the living entity comes in contact with material nature, those transcendental qualities are covered by the material qualities. So they are not manifested. But as soon as one becomes Krishna conscious, those transcendental qualities automatically develop. Because they are already there. It is stated, the Krishna... What is that? The idea is that these qualities are already there. Nitya Siddha Krishna Bhakti Shadha Gavna. These qualities are not acquired. The transcendental qualities are not acquired. Rather, these material qualities are acquired. But transcendental qualities are there in minute particles. As the transcendental qualities are there in God, similarly transcendental qualities are in living entities also. But when they are covered by these material qualities, so the material qualities uh, which we exhibit in the material world, that is acquired. But transcendental qualities are not acquired. Uh, uh, so, nitta siddha krishna bhakti sadha kavuna. They are not acquired. Sabnadi siddha jitte karoya uda. Uh, those transcendental qualities again revise themselves by this process. Sabnadi siddha jitte. Uh, as you uh, purify your heart by this process of hearing transcendental messages from Godhead, uh, as your heart becomes purified, those transcendental qualities automatically develop. And when fully developed, it is called nirgon, nirgon, without any material qualities. That uh, nirgon stage can be obtained, can be achieved, in touch with the Nirgun, Krishna. Uh, therefore it is stated, sa sarvadik upadrashtya tang bhajan. Bhajan. Bhajan means by rendering devotional service to Him, that Supreme Lord, you get uh, revived your transcendental qualities. And when you revive your transcendental qualities, uh, that means you are liberated, you are happy, you are transferred to the spiritual world. Thank you. Any question?